everyone, welcome back to my channel, Torathena, where today I am reviewing Chimichanga by Dark Horse Comics. This is priced at $3.99 and it's written by Eric Powell and drawn by Stephanie Buskema. The Sorrow of the World's Worst Fate is a mini series of four issues and follows the story of a man that you can't see, his hair is covering his face and he's run away from this crowd of pitchfork wielding a mob basically and he goes to hide in a circus and then the story follows this little bearded girl who just walks around singing happy go lucky and she has a pet who she calls chimichanga and he's this big mythical weird animal that has loads of stuff stuck in his belly throughout reading this comic i kind of thought that it was for children most of the story is very happy go lucky the songs the singing half of the comic is heard just getting stuff out of chimichanga's belly and then it does take a slightly darker turn but sometimes i don't know if it's it's a darker turn because i'm an adult who understands what's going on because when you watch cartoons that are for kids you'll hear jokes that are for adults and you'll be like oh, that's not for children but it is because they're children they don't understand those jokes so i don't know <laughs> This particular issue sets up a lot of mystery. Who is this man? Who is Chimichanga? Why can he stuff stuff up his stomach? And everything else where I'm not gonna explain because that would be giving part of the plot away. The art, once again, made me think that it is for children because as you can see, it's very colorful. It's very bright. The animation itself is very soft. It's very expressive. It's very animated. You could easily see this be a Saturday morning cartoon show. And yeah, it made me once again think, is this for children or not? I personally loved the art myself. I, I really liked the soft colors and the expressive faces and how adorable little, little, little girl could be even with a beard. But yeah, it's kind of hard to put into words this comic and who it's aimed for, in my opinion. Maybe that's just because I have the mentality of a five-year-old. Overall, I really enjoyed this comic and I really do want to pick up issue two just to see if I can have any of the questions I've got answered. However, personally speaking, if I was on a budget that week and it was between issue two of Chimichanga and a couple of other issue ones that I didn't know anything about, I would probably pick up the issue ones over the second issue. If money was no object, yeah, I'll pick up issue two and see where it, where it goes. But I have to admit, the first issue didn't compel me to carry on reading as much as some issues do. But that's not to say I didn't like it, it's just that I read a lot of comics and some of them do grab my attention more than others. Well thank you so much for watching this comic review. What did you think? Have you read it? Did you, were you compelled more than I was to carry on reading? Do you need to know these answers? Did you think it's for a kid or not? please answer my questions. <laughs> That's why I do these videos because I love talking about comics. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I do geeky videos every single day. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.